Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Chips and Tricks and the gentleman on his second question. I also got my mathematical guru working on this too. Hopefully he'll get back to me. Maybe there's a way to do it in math. But what he's wanting to do, if he had like four gears or pulleys and he wants to make a chain guard around them, he wanted to know how he could get the corners rounded perfectly. And I think I did it uh, manually just by taking a two-point line and going about where you think it would be to about where you think it would be. And then look at it. And this one needs to go a little further out. So I would take the shape tool and just go as far as you could go and have it snap to there. And you can see now that we've crossed the line. So we want to go back down to that where there's no double lines and then go to this side and we might want to go outwardly. And if we get too far, we're going to start getting double lines. So, and I don't, you know, he's not mass producing these. He's going to cut it out on a plasma cutter just for a chain guard. So he's not, uh, you know, the, the specs can be pretty close, I think, or at least they would for me, but see how we're, we've crossed the line. So just go until you can't see a double line. And you can kind of visually see, you know, we might want to go a little further on this one, but then we've crossed the line. So we want to go where there's no line cross. And then I'm going to show you kind of a way we can test it a little bit. Um, I'm hoping my math guru will chime in here later today. See, we just got a double line, so take your shape tool and just bring this back till we don't have a double line. And then look at the other side and you can see we have a double line. So we need to go back and kind of, you know, here we have like this heart shape or crescent go about halfway. Now, one way we can really kind of look at it better would be to take the rectangle tool and fill it in. And then let's move, get in, get in custom of nudging and not moving so we can move it, move it back. And then, uh, go to object and break the curve apart so we can get rid of the rectangle. And if we look at it in nodes, and for you plasma cutters out there, and especially the one I'm doing it for, it's even, you've got some double nodes and we could join those, or you could just delete that one node. Don't delete both nodes. This one has three. What it is is nodes that are on top of each other and they're not going to change the curve but they will cause you havoc. I think it's dead on. Now, you know, one way we can look at it, this, these were lines, we could delete it and go right here and go and delete our rectangle and then nudge this back. And, you know, you can look at it, the corners are smooth and it's just a guard because most likely, and if you look, the, uh, the nodes are a lot they're symmetrical. There's two, two in the corner, one, those are about equal. The thing, you know, if the, if the circles were all the same size, you could double check some other things, but since they're different sizes and since, it, since it's a motor guard, after you've got your measurements on your pulley, go to effects and contour and, you know, contour a half an inch off for the guard and, and go with that. And then always look at your, you know, your nodes and you'd actually have to break the contour apart. You sometimes you got to, well, all the time you got to select it, break the contour apart, take that pulley uh, guard. And now you can really see that it's pretty, pretty nice. And I would double click, turn it into a hairline and in red and also RGB and then check your nodes on that. In this particular case, you can't delete nodes because it's going to uh, harm you, you know, if you want these curves. And if you look, I bet you if we measured, well, let's just do a little measurement. Let's go from the center up and from the center out and 
take our parallel dimension tool, set the decimal place, another digit, and then measure from that quadrant to that quadrant, and we have a half of an inch. Remember we did a one inch, um, no, we did a half inch radius. So, I mean, if, if the tangent wasn't right, I don't think that would be right. Well, I guess that would still be right. But anyway, that's close enough for plasma cutting anyway. Um, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.